when we're talking about conflict resolution there's three phrases that can be used in order to help either angry or emotional people calm down now as we know we have either come across or we will come across people who spend most of the time either over agitated angry all the time or looking for a fight now even the most rational of us can sometimes let our emotions get the best of us I'm sure we've all been there but there are times when you can't avoid having to deal with overly emotional people depends you might be in a position you might work customer facing role have to deal with it but while these conversations are simply part of life there are ways to make them less painful and more constructive so phrase number one these are the, my phrases that I like personally phrase number one please speak more slowly I'd like to help now the problem might not be that they're speaking too quickly the problem might be that they're screaming their head off or crying uncontrollably so this phrase can actually work now how does it work well, what it does it breaks down the pattern in the head or sometimes you might hear it referred to as pattern interrupts what they're doing they're expecting you to resist but you're not you're asking them to clarify you're showing that you're interested what this does then it makes them shift more out of the primitive brain and more into rational thinking and that's what we that's what we're trying to do that's a good thing the second one is what would you like me to do now this one works pretty similar to the first one it knocks the over emotional person out of using the primitive emotional part of the brain their only knows fight or flight and it forces them to start using more evolved thinking and number three is any question at all that's not the quest that's not the phrase obviously what I mean is you can ask any question at all now it doesn't matter how crazy the other person is if you want to get the conversation back on any sort of sane and rational track telling them that they are insane or explaining how your viewpoint is more sensible than theirs isn't really going to help so why is that explaining is almost always a disguised form of fighting back the other person is going to sense that and they're just going to get more aggressive and more emotional the act of listening or what is better known as active listening is reflecting back the person's emotional state not necessarily the content of what they're saying and doing but by asking the relevant questions is more likely to calm the person down and lead the conversation into a firmer ground 